Just what is the Earth year frequency? The Earth makes one revolution around the Sun in slightly more than 365 days, which works out to 31,556,925.9747 seconds. Whew, that's a mouthful. Anyway, which means the frequency of an Earth year measured in cycles per second is one thirty-one millionth of a revolution per second. Of course, this frequency is way too low to be heard, so we will raise it using octaves. In musical terms, an octave is the same note played higher or lower. In math terms, an octave is double the frequency. This C note has a frequency of 64 cycles per second. Play the next higher C and the frequency doubles to 128. Up to the next C and the frequency doubles again to 256 and so on. Okay, back to our Earth year frequency. If we double the frequency 32 times, which is the same as raising the note 32 octaves, we now have a note that we can hear. This new tone is 136.10 cycles per second. You won't hear this note in modern Western music as it falls between C and C sharp. I first read about this tone in The Cosmic Octave by mathematician Hans Cousteau. According to Cousteau, indigenous native people all over the world naturally chant or tune instruments to this tone. He claimed that Tibetan monks tune their meditation bells to it, and in India it is called Sajja Harsa and is considered to be the earthly representation of Om. It is often the drone or continuous note played behind meditative music, especially sitar-based music. Now, I don't know if Cousteau's claims are true or not, but I have seen some empirical evidence. I own a handmade bamboo flute from South America that is tuned to the earthier frequency. In fact, I recorded the uh, instrument on my Wheel of the Year CD. And years ago, I had a recording of some sitar music that was definitely tuned to it as well. Now, it may be that those were just coincidence, and there is no truth to Cousteau's writings. If so, the earth here frequency is harmless at, at worst. But if Cousteau's claims are true, then by entraining oneself to the earth here vibration, you not only tune yourself to the motion of the planet, but also you become in tune with others using or meditating on this tone. According to Cousteau, that would include Tibet monks and holy men of India.